represent the darker side, darker side, darker side, side. That's where I reside, I reside, side. Yo, I represent the darker side. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, what up, squad? Hey, man, welcome back to Hood Rock Entertainment, bro. You already know what's up. Yo, hit that subscribe button, bro. Squad up, tap in, click up, whatever you want to call it. Do that, bro. You read the title. Yo, I've been covering a few videos on Ana's murder, bro, because obviously they haven't found the dudes that did it. Um, and there's a whole list of suspects. So if you if you haven't already watched the videos that I put up on Ana's murder about the list of suspects, go check those two videos out. There's a part one and part two. This one here, bro. This is about um the mule, whatever his name is, bro. I've reacted to this cat. Now let me let me explain something, bro. I reacted to this to this dude um a couple of times, bro, right? I didn't realise he was so hated, bro. So it says here, why is he so hated and suspected for backstabbing Ana? Ana, Ana. Yo, I keep forgetting which one it is, because one of them is the police. So yo, let me know if it's number one, Ana, or number two, Ana. Let me know. And anyway, I'm wrong something here, but I'm wrong something here because this is 11 minutes, so I'm going to wrong something to blaze with y'all. Um, go check my channel out. There's over over 2,000 hip-hop reactions, my nigga. Over 2,000 hip-hop reactions. You know what I mean? So, yo, we ain't even going to play around, bro. I'm not going to explain all about my channel and shit. Just go check it out. I'm telling you, you tap into the realest, illest, dopest reaction channel on YouTube. Let's get into this, bro. Y'all niggas know what's up. Hold on, can turn into a tap. Let's do it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Crime Scene Chronicles. This video is about Dumle. Who is he? Why is he so hated? And why do most people blame him or hold him accountable for the murder of Aina? Now, before anybody knew him as Dumle the Rapper, he was a criminal. Back in 2014, when Dumle was 18 years old, he and seven others gang raped a woman for up to 12 hours. What? Three separate locations. This was extremely what? brutal. They raped her orally and vaginally. They also put a gun to her head. They forced the gun inside her mouth. What the fuck? That ain't gangster, nigga. That ain't gangster, nigga. Rape is not gangster, bro. Rape is some fucking animal shit, bro. Anyone that commits any kind of sex offense, bro. I don't fuck with anyone like that. Some fucking... The fuck out of here, what, you can't get no pussy, nigga? Something wrong with you? Like, you ain't got no game, nigga? Bro, just for that, I'm taking this nigga's videos off my shit. I don't fuck with frauds on my channel, bro. I don't do that. You know what I mean? I don't give no clout to no one like that. I don't give no... You ain't get no views from me, bro. I'm, I'm not reacting to this cat no more. The fuck? Vagina. What? Massive the force the gun inside her mouth and then her vagina. Oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. Injuries and all bro, that ain't got nothing to do with getting your sex on, nigga. That, that you just some animal shit, nigga. Fuck that shit. Led to death. I'll wit you up, nigga. From this gang rape. I'll wit you up, nigga. For this gang rape several years oh, so you ain't denying that. You got convicted for this shit. How the fuck? How the fuck did he even, how the fuck has he even got a following, bro? Did niggas support the frauds over there or something? Like a nigga supporting that kind of shit. Is that gangster or something? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, weak ass Bro, you do that to my sister? You do that to my sister? I got, I got twin daughters, my nigga. I got 19-year-old twin daughters. You do that to my sister? You do that to my daughters? You do that to my mum? My nigga, I'm going away for a long time and I don't give a fuck. I don't wear no mask for that shit. Born and, raised and then I'll come and find you again in hell, nigga. And, in the and I'll come fuck you up again, gang war in Swedish history. Shoftas versus oh, shit. Patrolen, aka Death Patrol in English, and for short, just DP. From what we know, Dumle was on the Shoftas side of the conflict right. in the beginning. But then later on, for unknown reasons, went over to the Death Patrol side. Switching sides oh. and allegiances in the gang the fuck war. Out I'll get the fuck out of here. What? <laughs> what? This nigga's an actual dirtbag ass motherfucker, bro. So what? He will him gang rape some bitch. Put the wop inside his shit. 
right? And now he switched sides. Is he? So he's with the rivals. So 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 the gang that killed some of his homies, the gangs that. It doesn't matter what your gang did to you, bro, right? If your gang did some shit to you and you end up having beef with them. That don't mean you go join the niggas that killed your homies and shit. You weak ass nigga. Fuck out of here. World apparently isn't unusual at all. Arguing, <laughs> so switching sides in a vicious, what? And bloody and deadly war like... Our guess is though switching sides in a vicious and bloody and deadly war. Are you kidding me, bro? What do you mean switching sides is, is, isn't, is not unusual? What kind of fantasy land are niggas living in over there, bro? When you fuck, bro, when I throw my shit up, bro, when I throw my shit up, like, you know what I mean? That's to the death, my nigga. Get the fuck out of here. A war like this makes you even more hated and a big part. Facts. And here we can listen to rapper Jafarbin or JD in a song with Adel, rap about Shotas and Dumlip. Fire. I'm supposed to react to this dude, bro. Jafar Bin, JB. I'm supposed to be reacting to him. Let me know if I should, because isn't he, um, he in Drilo's gang? Is he in Drilo's gang? Is Drilo with the shotters? Let me know. I fuck with Drilo. It sounds good, He's just basically rapping about shotas running around in cars with 500 horses, that horsepower, and that doom is chilling out in the hood, smoking on some good weed. So I'm smoking on some good weed, nigga. <laughs> I'm smoking on the best shit. You know New Zealand's got the best shit. Oh, fucking right here. Why do you think we're the most... Google that shit. New Zealand's got the most fertile fucking land in the world, bro. Let me see. That ain't even manicured, nigga. That's straight off a clone, cuz. That's the regular, you know what I mean? If you ever end up in New Zealand and you need something, get at me, my nigga. Hit me on my DMs. Instagram, nigga. Link in, in the description box below. With him at this point in the middle of the war. I think this song was made in 2017. So there we go. That's two pretty good reasons. Snake ass, nigga. Somebody gang rape and switching sides to the war. But we are just getting started. Oh, man. So let me give you some background on this. Rose is an up-and-coming rapper. He has released some songs and collaborations. But in the end of May 2019, he releases the song Rose Till Problem. I reacted to this video becomes a massive and instant hit. Rest in peace to Rose, bro. Sadly, just one month and a few days after he releases the song, he gets murdered. He gets killed outside his apartment walking his dog. Tragic, but what does this have to do with Doom Left? Yeah. Hey, yo. And if anything that this dude is saying is wrong, let me know, bro. Alright? But, look, yo, I've said this in the last few videos. Bro, if you know stuff that no one else knows and you actually know, you know what I mean? Like, you, you're there, right? Because I don't take second-hand knowledge. I don't even, I don't, I don't take third-hand knowledge, fourth, nothing. First-hand knowledge only, my nigga. Otherwise, don't even bother. But if you know some shit that other people don't know, don't put it in the comments, bro. I don't know how many times I've got to say that, but real nigga shit, y'all niggas know what's up. Hit me in my DMs on Instagram, my niggas. Well, it just so the link's in the description box. Doom Lab, that is a childhood friend with Ross. They grew up together, you seem to be. Basically, Doom Lab reaches out to Ross, and uh, he wants them to hang out again, and they start hanging out, and Doom Lab, at some point in time, basically lives in Ross' apartment that he shares with his mother, and lives there, and eats there, and uh, they hang out regularly. And to get some backstory on this, uh, the year before, in January 2018, Ross' older brother got murdered, and Ross has been obviously very upset about this, has been talking to people and trying to figure out who killed them and why, and during this time, he has been warned to stop digging around that he should... Yo, 
niggas are getting fucking yo. Know, and the last the last four years over in Sweden, been a war zone, bro. I hope y'all niggas are safe out there, bro. Cause there's been a war zone. I know how bad it is out there, bro. It's it's, it's crazy, my niggas. You know what I mean? Niggas are dying every day over there. Young niggas too, bro. Like you know, nineteen years old, ain't it? Forget about his brother, or he's gonna get killed too. He apparently paid these warnings no mind that he got through text messages. And apparently he didn't leave his apartment very often, just walking his dog or making a music video. So he was very hard to get to. So no one's hard to get to, money. Sell him out. Sneak patience. Time. Here we yeah. have Rose's mother describing her son's murder. She heard shots. She went out her apartment door and saw her son laying on the ground. The masked man still shooting her son. Damn. Said, no, please, please, this is just a child. Stop, stop. In the following murder investigation and in interrogations, Rosa's mother had no doubt that Dumle was involved in this murder. She said both her and Rose received phone calls from Rosa's two cousins in prison that warned them about hanging out with Dumle. But he was known for selling out and backstabbing people. He can't be. Nigga, your own family. Don't trust you. Now I've always been a firm believer that you that you've got to give everyone the benefit of the doubt until they do you wrong. You can't just treat everyone like like they're gonna do you wrong, bro. You know what I mean? I think everyone's cool until they do you wrong, unless someone close to them tries to warn you, nigga. If someone close to you that knows you on some personal shit gives you the warning. Yo, don't just brush that aside, my nigga. He trusted it all, and you should stay away from him. During the investigation, it became clear that Dumle was always curious and wanted to know where Ross was, writing him several times an hour Snake at the same time, asking him where he was and what he was doing. Dumle's DNA was also found at the crime and murder scene of Ross. It was found on a half-smoked but fresh cigarette. That definitely makes you a really, really big suspect, but I don't think that's enough to convict someone, bro, right? I'm pretty sure because you could have said that you're walking past and flipped your cigarette butt and hey, until they prove that theory wrong, they have to go by that, you know what I mean? But, get the fuck out of here. So close to the murder at a place that you're familiar with. And, you, and there's a fresh cigarette butt there with your fucking, with your DNA on it, that definitely places you at the scene around the time, bro. It doesn't mean that you did it, but it definitely places you there at the time. Me, myself, I'm not saying that you pulled the trigger, but you were there, my nigga. You already know what's up. Snake ass nigga. Cut your grass short, my niggas. Be careful, be careful of them snake ass niggas. Learned his routines and what he did, then lured him outside his apartment, then the masked gunman showed up and executed Ross. The shooter was later arrested and then convicted for murder. I... Dumle was also arrested, but released, oh. the police being seemingly unable to prove that Dumle was yeah, facts. by setting him up. Even facts. though he's never been found guilty of... Oh, you, you had something to do with it, nigga. Anybody. Oh, you must definitely had something to do with it. You know, you don't have to be no investigator, you don't have to be a scientist, but you definitely know that he was there at the time of the murder. And if he wasn't there hanging out with the homie that got killed, then you were there with the niggas that killed him. You know, you know what I'm saying, my nigga? Get the fuck out of here. He sold out a friend for money or whatever reason. So many people were shocked and very surprised when Einar posted this picture with Dumla and all Einar. The Aina. So his name's Aina. Aina is the um is the police, right? Aye. Bro, he's one of my favorite artists, and I've reacted to him so many times. But with the foreign language, I keep getting mixed up with those two names. Aina, Aina. It sounds so similar. Or are they two opposites? Now what I learned, bro. Now what I learned, bro, was that Aina owed a lot of people money. He promised a lot of people money. He was paying, he was supposed to be paying people for stuff. Now I learned on a different video 
that I watch, bro. Now, I don't believe everything on the internet, bro. For me, I discard, I discard 30, 40% of what's said on the videos, bro. Right? Because I'm not an idiot, bro. I'm a street nigga. I know what's facts and what's not. You know what I mean? Um, well, I don't know what's facts and what's not, but I know when you're talking shit. You know what I mean? I know when you're just making up some bullshit. But, apparently, you know, there was a crew that put Aynor on, bro. You know what I mean? That Aynor used that street cred in that to get himself on. Being in the videos, you know, having this gang and that in the videos with him and that. Apparently, he didn't pay them. And he refused to pay them, bro. And he also did it with another crew, apparently. Now, look, bro, I'm not saying that anyone deserves that kind of shit that happened. You know what I mean? Because there's no coming back from death, my nigga. But I do know that if you meddle around gangs, bro, and you owe gangs money, they are going to come and collect, my nigga. I gang bang for 26 years, my nigga. New Zealand's biggest and most dangerous gang, you know what I mean? And, and it's the same the world over. If you owe a gang money, they're going to come and collect money at some point. Commented that Aner's days are now numbered after he started hanging out with people like Doom Left. And we all know now that it took less than three months from Aner starting to hang out and associate with Doom Left for him to get shot and killed. It is Niggas that hang around this dude heck just magically start dying or they start yo oh, come on man like bro the fact that the nigga raped that bitch and bro you know what i mean bro that's some fucked up animal shit bro i don't you know what i mean you're taking some fuck you're taking someone's pride in the most humiliating way bro there's nothing you can't get any more humiliating than that for a female nigga but check yourself nigga it's a well-known fact that Einar had that should they should have steered people what the fuck would you hang out with someone after they do that as soon as i find out someone's got that on their resume bro bro i pull their fucking i pull their street um license bro they, 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 they ain't got no license out here no more bro they ain't even got to learn a license you know what i mean these niggas back on fucking be a quick Cool with that shit, bro. I don't fuck with that. I got 12 brothers and sisters, but I don't fuck with that shit. I got daughters and shit. I don't feel that shit. Nowadays, people are so paranoid about meeting in person or whatever that the most usual way to get somebody killed is to get somebody close to them, a so called friend or whatever family member, girlfriend, to sell them out for money, to lure them out, and then have them murdered. So being betrayed by someone close to you is often the most likely reason why you get killed <laughs> that's fucked up that's fucked up i know that the niggas close to me bro we we good <laughs> we don't fuck around like that in new zealand nigga like we don't do that like that, that's rare over here bro to get set up by your own peeps that's fucking one in a million bro i can't even remember the last time that happened nigga Damn, you get smoked here in New Zealand when they see you up the street. You know what I'm saying? Just days or weeks before Aina Niggas ain't scared to go outside. A mm. major interview with one of Sweden's biggest newspapers about his criminal life and him being a member in Death Patrol and the war against the Shotas. He probably made this interview as a publicity stunt to launch his upcoming rap career and songs and videos. And that's why he was hanging out a lot with Einar, since Einar was the biggest rapper and maybe the biggest artist in Sweden to help him launch his new rap career. Anyways, they published this huge interview with Dumla one week after the murder of Einar. They had also called him again to get some quotes or information about the murder. Since Dumna and Adel were the only two other people that were with Aina when he got murdered. During this fall. Was he with. My nigga, I didn't know that. Was Aina with this nigga when he died, bro? Because I remember when he got shot and I said, bro, someone that was with him had to have told those niggas, yo, we're outside now, we're pulling up, we're jumping out the whip now, we're walking. Someone had to be, bro. Right? Because the niggas don't just sit there in the dark waiting just randomly until you come home, bro. I know it was snowing there at the time, bro. It was cold as fuck. You ain't just sitting out there in the snow 
waiting for a nigga to pull up and you don't even know when he's pulling up. Like, you could be there fucking five, six hours, bro, even longer. You know what I mean? I've been on camp out duties, my nigga. Like, and fuck that. You ain't just doing that because you want to. You know what I mean? That's on orders type shit. But god damn, bro. That's suspect as fuck, nigga. Follow up by the newspapers about Enosh murder to mimic some very interesting statements. He said the three of them walked to the locked bicycle storage room to smoke a joint. They were later going to take a cab and go into the city and party. When the three of them got out, bullets started flying and they all took off running in different directions. In the following weeks of the murders, sources to the newspapers say that are believed to be police sources say that moments or seconds before the shooters or killers showed up, somebody went back inside the locked bicycle storage room for unknown reasons. And we know that this person cannot be Einar. At some point, Dumle has made the statement that he went outside, bullets started flying, they all took off in different directions, and Einar started running towards his apartment. And when he did that, when he was getting close to his apartment front gate, another shooter showed up and started shooting. It is later confirmed that Dumle was the one that went back inside the locked bicycle storage room. So that begs the question, how can Dumle know what happens after he ran back inside the locked bicycle storage room? I doubt that all of them was running for his life saw anything, and I don't think witnesses or police told Dumle anything about what happened after he went back inside the locked storage room. So either he made that up or he got that information from somebody. It could be a little Freudian slip, but who knows? Anyways, after the murder, Dumle was going to re release his first single with a music video that was supposed to be featuring Adel, the other person that was with Dumle and Einar at the time of the murder. But what happened was, after the murder, Adel was, for some reason, taken off the song and is no longer featuring on the song. And in the music video, in which you can see Einar several times, Adel is completely blurred out, and Dumle has yeah, stopped okay. following Adel on Instagram. So there's many speculations about why that is. What do you think? I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want to put it out there, but I think this dude's a sketchy motherfucker, bro. I think that nigga's a sketchy ass motherfucker, G. I think that Einar and that other dude didn't even know what was happening, bro. Uh. And that other dude, he knew what the fuck was about to happen, which was why he did the oh shit. I just read the future and rocked back into that back, back into that box shit. But I don't even know if what this dude is saying is true. But based on what he's saying, remember those key words. Based on what he's saying, I'm not saying this is what's happened, but based on this video, that nigga knew what the fuck was happening, bro. And it ain't no fucking coincidence that niggas around him just died, bro. That's some snake-ass shit, my nigga, yo. That's some snake-ass shit, bro. I feel sorry for any nigga that's hanging out with this nigga right now, bro. Count your numbers, nigga. Anyway, I'm gonna go and upload this, bro. Y'all niggas know what's up. I'm gonna keep on uploading more videos about Anna's murder until they um, find, this, find the actual dudes that did it, bro, right? You know what I mean? I'll just stay on top of it, bro, try and, you know. And, hey, rest in peace to Anna, bro. All right? Stay safe, stay dangerous, and out. Peace, y'all.